<laughs> oh yeah, I, I did put on a a a a, a, a hey, yeah. Detroit man was good. Welcome to DDS, the voice of Detroit. I don't hear what the people say. I say what the people hear. And today <laughs> we in the building with a special guest, Podcast Crush. My bad, I'm happy. Podcast Crush this <laughs> motherfucker, man. If y'all don't know it, follow her on YouTube, Podcast Crush. We'll show you how to get there at the end of this video. Now, if you're not a subscriber, fuck you. If you're not a subscriber, let's get busy. <laughs> now, today's topic, I've been noticing on uh, social media, a lot of men versus women. Oh, yeah, they talking shit. Uh, the ladies making all these posts. Oh, yeah, broke-ass niggas. You ain't got no money, no honey. And the niggas, they man. <laughs> oh, you know, dusty bitch. All you want is a couple bucks, ho. So now, <laughs> we want to talk about dating. For nowadays, people are dating for uh, 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 come up instead of love. And we want to look deeper into that shit, though. Because on the top, it looked like, you know, it's just all fun and games. La, 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 la. Hey, niggas making me me. It's fun shit. But let's look deeper into the problem. We have been um, brainwashed True. to go along with this bullshit and it's sound cool, it's trending. But at the end of the day, let's think about what's they really going on. They put us against each other. Yeah. So now if you put the men against the women, we can stop the procreation of these black little niggas. And, you know, what's the best way to do that? Put these motherfuckers against each other, and there won't be no fucking. So if y'all all beefing, he broke, she working, she wants some money, blah, 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 ain't no fucking. And now in between all that, we promoting a lot of homosexuality. Uh, have you ever in your life seen every fucking other commercial is a motherfucking uh, 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 HIV uh, medicine? Why the fuck, why would we need to keep seeing this? Um, so they not- actually are get. they actually are showing a medicine named PrEP that yep. prevents you yeah, from getting HIV yeah, fuck if that. you it's encounter somebody why, why do we need to put some of that? Boy, we fucked up. So now it's so cool that we just gonna promote it. Yeah, everybody do some uh, uh, some zesty shit and just take this. No, nah, nigga. So if we look deep, <laughs> up in the procreation of the black man, the conquer and the bad. No, yeah. um, yeah. So making us believe, making the women believe they don't need a man. The niggas don't need a girl because they gonna just fuck their boy. So now we in a world of shit, but nobody really peeping out that we'll get up out of here. So they probably figured these niggas are violent. We might not win that way. So let's just work them like this. Now I did some research. Now this was a plan. I was supposed to be in Europe, somewhere else, and uh, in some other states. We kind of caught the back end of this plan. Now, there is a government plan that they was going to mix that shit in to stop, you know, uh, uh, I guess to cut down on population. Everybody fucking everybody, it won't, it won't work. So now we caught the back end of it. So tell me, what's your feelings on this situation? Will it go so far that it'll get out of control and just end the human race because boys with boys, girls with girls, everybody hate everybody? No, I don't feel like it'll ever get to that point because everybody not gay. I like, like, um, every everybody is not homosexual. So the thing is, is like, you know, yeah, they could push it, push it, push it, but if you don't go that way, you don't go that way. Well, cause like me, like you can't, you can't, you cannot. Well, we talking, you know, they can't push it on you or me because we older. But we talking about the young man, the young vulnerable man. That's who they pushing it on. Let's get it together now. We already got the black man out the house. Fuck that broke nigga. He got to go. He ain't shit. So now they gone. So now we already got just a woman in the house. No way that these women can be a nurturer and a disciplinarian. This ain't going to work. So now he already a feminized nigga. I mean, how far is this going to go? Um, I feel like I said, even a young mind know what they like. Like, I, uh, I got um, young adult and uh, one thing I know about people is the average person when they make their mind up about something, you're not turning their mind away from it. Now, I feel like they are pushing that agenda because that's what um whoever in the control of the music and um the entertainment world, that's what they like. So they push, 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 push that shit out. But I don't feel know, like it's going to be something for, like see, that. Everybody turn gay people, or no shit like that. These rappers are controlled. They're in control of the young minds right now. And you're seeing a lot of this shit going on in the high schools. This is why I'm concerned. 
Now, um, they're getting younger and younger. So, you know, with a young, gullible man with no man in the household, he already just seeing a lot of feminine shit. His mama putting on makeup, she getting dressed, whoop, whoop, whoop. So it's a lot easier. Once they already separated that shit, that you, if your daddy there, you like, man, look here, nigga. He ain't he not doing none of that. That's not on your mind. But if it's already in the household and we put it but in dang. your head far away from cartoons on up to high school, uh, what's the odds to these niggas surviving this shit, man? Okay, so let me just tell a little story. And I don't mean to put nobody on blast. But I got people in my family that was gay, gay right? Mm -hmm. We knew they was gay when they was little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Based off how they carried themselves. That's true. That's so true. the thing is, I feel like if you gay, you just you're gonna be gay. Now I feel like it might can cause some people to go and experiment, but yeah, if you yeah. don't like it, you don't like it. Right, and I don't right. I don't think it's gonna stick for people who don't like it. But if okay. for people who do like it, yeah, it might be a lot more bisexual uh, activity and homosexual activity. No doubt, no doubt. So now, this men versus the women, how far is this going to go? Because, <clears throat> so if all, unless a nigga came rich. Okay, so women are starting to forget about, uh, about the men. And you know, in love and uh, they looking for profit. They forgetting about the love and they forgetting about, you know, the men pretty much completely, you know, they're trying to uh, more worry about the BBL competing in ass picks, uh, you know, a uh, 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 Birkin bag, shit like that. So now with this type of influx, first problem is they looking for men to fund this extravagant fairy tale lifestyle that they never funded themselves. So now we got a whole bunch of imaginary motherfuckers running around. So now you looking for this nigga, you know, who, uh, uh, who just coming rich. And you know, you was never rich for real. You was just eating McDonald's, but social media has told you now that you, if your ass is fat, you were you worth everything, you worth the world. So now we're just gonna leave the guys who uh, uh who just can't pop up rich. I mean, I don't even see the streets doing no big numbers like that. So where are these rich niggas coming from? And um, where is it gonna leave the women? I mean, it's gonna leave a lot of single bitches because they not them niggas ain't here. And is it true that if they was here, do they want that old McDonald eating bitch who social media told us she was somebody now? I mean, I mean, so where is the dating scene going other than a lot of delusionality? So I feel like uh, it's delusion on both sides because mm -hmm. uh, the men believe that it, it's like, it's almost like, you know how they be like, it's a race war. It's like I had a show like a gender, gender car, gender wars. Okay. And we touched a lot of uh we touched on a lot of shit on there, but part of it was um the men and the, the black man and the black woman being against each other. Basically, I feel like a lot of this shit do come from like you were talking about earlier, the government pulling the man out the house and the woman becoming independent and shit like that. But at the same time, I feel like the expectations on both sides is ridiculous. <laughs> Because the men, men feel like, like you know, it's hot as hell. And if a woman wear a short skirt or a short dress or something um, that may be showing a little bit more skin, like a man, like these men nowadays, they automatically just write the bitch off in their head as a hoe or easy or whatever. And the females automatically look at the dudes like, he ain't got no money. He ain't he ain't buying this. He ain't doing that. He ain't giving but, me that. But can we look at it like this? Are the women wearing these type of things because they trying to promote that ass? The only thing that's really going on that I'm seeing in the world that women are bringing to the table is ass. No, that's not gonna do it for me. But at the same just, time, that's so now the they run around this shit on that's not wait in wait the real world. So, but wait though, no. so they run around this shit on promoting that ass. It's automatically the nigga picking his head. Oh, this bitch wants some money. She think that ass is worth something. She thinks she should be taken care of because she got this ass. So now he most likely is 90% right. But the bitch, you know, she looking for this hell of a rich nigga. The whole thing, I think everybody is starting to neglect that they are an adult. There ain't no nigga, no, no fairy tale nigga, Prince Charming, who wants to be taking care of no bitch. And ain't no bitch gonna come around and fairy tale take care of no nigga. So everybody is looking for a lick right now. Even niggas broke too. They looking for a rich nigga. That nigga fucked up. He looking for you. So 
It's just like it's a whole bunch of bullshit going on, man. Well, look, though. Back in the day, it was a point of time in American history that a man did was the sole provider of the yeah, household. And I don't look at that as a bad thing. I, I say to each his own. I feel like if if you got the, if you blessed to have that type of man in your life, more power to you. But if you're not, you better get off your ass and go make some shit happen for yourself. Don't be sitting around waiting on no handout. You feel me? Because but, but, that ain't that's just not gonna work in life. I'm gonna tell you something else. From my strong observation of watching the Cheetahs marathon not too long ago, I'm gonna tell niggas some real shit. If you got a bitch. And she's not doing shit. It could be the guy. It could be either way. And they're not doing shit. They got all day. You will be surprised at the mindset of that nigga that you're taking care of. So what happens is the motherfucker who's been well taken care of ain't got to do shit all day. That motherfucker always out cheating. And when they get caught, these niggas turn around and say, well, you know, you are, uh, you on the run. I needed some companionship. So don't be a fool. I don't even want no bitch want to be taken care of. Yeah, because she got too much time. She ain't doing nothing. Um... And that shit just never works out. And like I say, now, if a nigga do got a chick, he taking care of. See, back in that time when niggas was doing that, it's like, a nigga would be a fool nowadays, man. She gonna be fucking. She gonna be drunk, doing something fucked up because she That's got a lot fair. of time. That's now, back when grandma was getting taken care of, grandma didn't have time to do something. She was something like a slave damn near. But, you know, she That's was in the house. That's not fair, though. Yeah, it is fair what because she was in the house, she was in that bitch then. all day. She ain't had shit else to do but cook and clean. That was for fucked up life for grandma. I'm not gonna lie. Because it wasn't no freedom. She was ready to go to the movies, but she was in bad shape. But she was in there cooking and cleaning all day. She ain't got no time to slay that pussy on the side. It was hard to cheat back then. And you know, um, it was a different time. That nigga at work all day, he come home. You know, that time is gone. You can forget that because bitches ain't built like that and niggas ain't either. So that's over. So now but what's I wrong can... with the what's wrong with society nowadays is that Everybody get bunched up in one group. You a woman, you a gold digger, you ain't shit. You a nigga, you this and you that. Like everybody get grouped into one thing. Nobody have any type of individuality no more. So to say that every woman that's being taken care of, she gonna be out cheating. Not true, not fair. It's not that's just not reality. It is now reality. I would say a large percentage might, but not all. I mean, you get that bitch, you can't know bring no, everybody. There's no way you can't leave no bitch at the house. I don't give a fuck. She gonna fuck. She gonna fuck the lawn man, the pool man. If you got a bitch like that, you gonna take care of her and you already up. I'm giving that bitch a job at one of my companies. Or however the fuck I got rich, she gonna be working. She gonna be doing something. You're not gonna sit here all day and be sucking dicks because you're gonna get bored. You ain't got nothing to do. How much shopping can you do? And you're doing a lot of shopping. Who you looking good for? You gonna start fucking. And I know this. So... I, yeah, that ain't gonna never work for me. Hell no, bitch, you can get to work, bitch. So, you know, I can get you a business up. I got some money. I can get you a business up. We both gonna split that shit. You're not gonna sit here, bitch. I bet you that. And it's not gonna ever happen. That's bullshit. That's stupid. Now, any, now if a chick got a guy and she making all the money, she leave that dumb ass thing at home. He just got time to shop around all day and ride around the corner. You think he ain't gonna sit there suck you a fool, bitch, too? So now, this is what's this is gonna happen. You gotta put these motherfuckers to work while you're in the world of shit. So niggas is looking for, so a bitch looking for, Man, this shit crazy, though. I don't know what the fuck going on no more. I just know it's fucked up. Now, can you make any sense of it? Make me understand something that's going on now. The thing is, is that, like I said, everybody is being grouped into these stereotypes of what is being shown on the internet. Yeah, that's what's it's not up. the it's not reality. It's not the real world. Like, good women, good, solid women are being grouped in with the bitches that ain't shit based off of the internet. Because the niggas in There's too because good, solid women out here because it's only with a their head on their... It's only huh? a 2% of them bitches. There's only 2% of them, so they don't get busted with that group just like the niggas. I'm looking for a good nigga. Man, good luck, fool. So now it might be a 2% of them. He grouped in with the other... You think you about to uh, weed him out? He shows you like a good nigga. No, he ain't shit like the rest of the niggas. Because what happens is, motherfuckers have been fucked over so much. I got a homeboy. I ain't going to say his name. You might know him. Now, he's been abused. He's been used and abused so bad that, you know, I don't think he could ever come back from it. His hurt is fucked up. He's looking for a reason to hate a bitch at this point because he's been fucked up so much. So now, he ain't the only nigga, though. So a lot of chicks are fucking with these same type of niggas, man, and boom, boom, boom. You run through 10 and 12 of them. That 13th nigga might be a good nigga, but he dresses like that, just like that lad. That he ain't shit either. He won't even get a chance. Just like a nigga. Now, um, 
my man's story kind of fucked me up because I don't know how can a nigga, every bitch you run into be a piece of shit. Now, it might be, I don't know how uh, how that's possible, but. You I'm going to tell some... you how it's possible. I'm going to tell you how it's possible. Okay? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going to tell you how it's possible. No, I'm going to tell you how it's possible because it's who you picking. It's who you attracted to. Mm -hmm. You pick it the same motherfucker in a different body. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it was Red Flags that told you that this was the same type of bitch or nigga. <laughs> Like the last bitch, but you went ahead and did it anyway, and then expected a different result. That's called insanity. Yeah, but you, you know what? The same shit, doing the same thing, expecting a different <laughs> I think, result. I think at the end of the day, motherfuckers really just like to talk. A nigga not looking for no good nigga, and a bitch ain't. I mean, a nigga ain't looking for no good bitch. They really looking for a slime ball that they like, because most of the time, two things don't match up. So niggas who keep running in slam ball bitches. Is because they like to get they dick sucked sloppily and they like a nasty bitch. But at the same time, they want classy results, you know, outside of the bedroom. No, nah, that bitch is gonna be a whole all day. So now you want to try to mold no, this hoe. No, Maybe I can mold no. this bitch into so you some type of. Said, so what you just said is, yeah. if you got good sex, you gonna be a hoe all day. Most hoes, dudes do a lot of hoeing all day. They gonna get them skills from sitting at home. <laughs> You understand? So it's a reason. Like, you know, uh, FBG, the Pac-Man, fat nigga, he said, man, I had this nasty bitch boy. And he ran into the same shit. He said he had to get his mind right. He said he liked nasty head. And, you know, uh, these nasty bitches, man, he was going back to the clinic back and back and forth. He said, and it took like eight times. I went to the clinic I eight times. That. He had to I go with the bitch it. because, you know, sometimes that head boy and that sex is crazy. But while he was at the clinic, because this took a million dicks for her to get that talent. So she didn't just learn that practicing on a banana. Yeah, she was a hoe all the time. And he wanted to make that hoe into something that she could never be other than a hoe. Just like to me, that's knows, just stupid shit. That's no, just it is dumb, dumb shit because cause... you got a nigga, right? And he all he do is fuck 24 hours a day. And you be like, man. And you know, women are attracted to a, bad, a fucked up kind of nigga for real, though. You know, they want to try to pull some good nigga qualities, but still keep the kind of fucked up qualities. So if you got a nigga who been... You looking for a certain type of nigga that you're attracted to, and that type of nigga like to fuck all day and fuck all the hoes. But you gonna turn this nigga into a straight and narrow nigga who just only gonna fuck you. So this is this goes on in society too. How you feel about that? I feel like you're not gonna turn nobody into nothing. People don't change for other people; they change because they want to. Now they will change for you if they fuck with you like that. But you, but you yourself cannot change nobody into something else. You can't. But they not. You but why do the women keep going after the same type of nigga looking for these different results and the same thing with the niggas? The same thing I said, motherfuckers is insane. <laughs> no, seriously. It's it's a mental thing. And they had, they think like you just said, they could pull these good qualities out this person but make them something that they not. And that's yeah. just it. You see something that you like about somebody. Or you see some type of potential, you feel like, oh, I could work with this person and I can change this person. You cannot. Mm -mm. You cannot change nobody. Yeah, fuck no. Um, I so feel now, like it's bullshit, but hey, it is what it is. Now, That's why about, I'm happily over this bitch by myself. <laughs> I'm not dealing with shit. I'm not dealing with nothing. Like, I don't have a patience. Do you feel like in the last couple of years, you've been emasculated as well as the men have been feminized? I do can't be emasculated. Do you feel like you've been doing more manlier duties in the last... I'm trying to figure out where this shit came from. Now, have you been doing the same shit five years ago that you've been doing the last two years? I'm trying to figure out where... No, the five, five years ago, I was dealing with somebody that was that just wasn't shit. I was, I was doing what you were saying. I was hoping that a motherfucker changed. You feel me? Five yeah. years ago, but... What two, three, four years passed still, and he and he still had the chance to this day. I'm not fucking with him, but I I probably I'm probably sure that he, he doing the same shit to somebody else that he was doing to me. You know? brought, so no, I I don't feel no type of way about shit has, because has I know that I'm, I'm, your, I'm a very feminine woman. Has this brought out your masculine time, side and brought and brought out your uh uh, uh independence side? He made you say, man, fuck these. I don't need no niggas. Has he brought, has he emasculated you, your experience with these niggas? I've never said I don't need a nigga. I never said I don't need a nigga. 
I, I do. I want a man. I'm not crazy enough to believe I don't need a man, but I'm just not dealing with the bullshit that comes with the majority. You feel me? Like, I don't know what so you guys have. Now, did you just majoritize, majoritize niggas off that last nigga just a second ago? Yeah, so what's no, the No, I majoritize these niggas off of the niggas that I met after him. You haven't you put them in the category? That nigga ain't shit. Yeah. And no, also, everybody, also I get people you, that until they show me that they not who they say they are. also made you become one of these women who looking for the nigga who already got the bag. Because that last nigga pissed you off and say, oh, man, I ain't for this broke-ass nigga. Now, are you willing to uh, work? No, wait, though. No. Are you willing to work with a nigga uh, who got potential and build him up? Are you already looking, oh, fuck that broke nigga. I had enough of that. And you're up the last nigga who pissed you off. Fuck that broke nigga. I'm straight. Uh, bring me the nigga with the cash. Have you fallen into this group? I Don't laugh, because that. I already know the answer to this. Don't lie, please. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> He, actually, what's good is that I was blessed because I like I haven't really dealt with no guys that didn't have nothing. Like, that's, and not that, that's not that's, that's not, not me. No, even that's like, not how I can bless it. Yes, it is. Are you it's gonna not even me. Okay, because like, okay, it was a time in my life that I wasn't even date niggas that hustle. Like for for a minute, I would only date niggas that work a job. You gotta have a job. I ain't dealing with nobody that's in no street shit. Like I did that shit for a minute. Like I want to say probably like all of my thirties, I did that. Most of my thirties, I did I didn't that. Cut you off. Oh, um, I think the question was, are you gonna get? <laughs> Let me answer. I'm about to answer. Because no, you trying to run around it. Are you gonna get no, a dusty about nigga to with potential? Are you gonna get a dusty nigga with potential a chance? Oh, uh, well, you looking for that nigga who already came ready, Rock? It's just a yes or no. Uh, if he had potential, yeah, but I, you can't no. just not have nothing. You can't just not have nothing. No. Yeah. Fuck no. No, nah, y'all, listen. Whatever she's saying is a bullshit. Now, y'all can backtrack uh, Detroit dog shit when I asked her the same question some time ago. And that nigga... <laughs> she said, listen, y'all, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Dame is a shit starter. Listen, I I am not a gold digger, okay? But I do not want somebody who do not have nothing going on because that's the same type of shit that y'all don't want nobody. Y'all, if I was just a, a, a bitch just sitting in the house, pulling my fingers, looking for a blunt, you want nobody want to fuck with me? No. No, but see, now, so, I added that potential. Unless got to have a job or a hustle. I added that potential. Let's say he, uh, he started a business up. Uh, he's, he said, fuck it, man. I don't like to work for all the niggas. I got bigger dreams. Now, he started a landscape business, but he ain't got nothing but uh, one lawnmower and two customers. He got big dreams, and he got two rates. Now, a nigga like this, he want to make this shit happen. He got to drive. He out there every morning trying to make something shake, but he just ain't got enough equipment. Do you want to deal with this hopes and dreams, nigga? Do you believe in him? He might need a little investment from you. He might need a bigger lawnmower. He might need some better equipment. He might need a trailer. But are you going to say, nigga, get your dusty ass away from me. Go get all your equipment. Come back when you got some customers and some money. Or are you going to invest into that nigga if you like this nigga? Me being the business person that I am, no, I'm not going to invest into you. Because <laughs> guess what? <laughs> right. Nigga, if you and that line on them two houses, it's not going to help me with these bills. And no. See, that's the motherfucking problem. That's what we were just talking about. You is the nigga I was talking about. It's you. Because you just said, fuck that broke ass nigga. And his host and dreams, you broke nigga. Come back, you got the money. Yeah, y'all ain't shit. Back, and my boy Pillar was right. Now, we try to get the. <laughs> I'm slapping shit out you, I swear to God. <laughs> Why that nigga can't have a chance? Why is one of these niggas? You are part of the problem that's going to destroy the black race, and we ain't going to have nothing <laughs> left because you ain't giving out no pussy unless they got the money. Yeah, I'm talking about the. Yeah, the nigga. What? Hold on, hold on. Turn your, I think your volume went low. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. No, the thing is, it's, it's not that I won't support them, but you got to be willing to get out there every day and go get more than that one lawn. He out there every day, but he ain't got number one little push lawnmower to rake. Yeah, niggas don't want to fuck with no nigga pull up. He ain't got no trail. He out by this car with a lawnmower to rake. He needs some help. So now... Well, can you make him look good? <laughs> but he got the wheel and the drive. He out there every day. 
He's trying to do something. He only getting the cheap accounts because he has cheap ass equipment having motherfuckers. But if he has some real good looking shit, he could blow up and grow because he wants this shit in his heart. And he out there every day. He don't give a fuck. If he come back with 50 bucks, he'll be out first thing tomorrow trying to do it again. Now, this is the type lie. of nigga. No, for real, though. This is the type job. of nigga. Yeah, this is the type of nigga who deserves a chance. Now, most of the time, women gonna say, fuck this hoe. That whole ass nigga got right about that raggy ass, cheap ass, long boy, broke motherfucker. Yeah, he ain't gonna stand a chance out here. And you just said it too. You don't tell him to get the fuck off too. Just like the next bitch. He better have to go get a job until that shit takes oh, off. He don't want no job. He got a vision. He got potential. He wanna. He got a big ass million dollar dream. He don't want to cash no other nigga check. He want to get rich. You know, you can only be one or two. So he so got the business mindset. Summers, how many summers I got to deal with that before it take off? And what, well, you know, what uh, business the takes time? about. Business takes two to five years, but a nigga like him with that type of hunger, we looking at him probably less than this because once he gets some equipment, he gone. You know, that's all he really needs. That's the only thing slowing him up. He got that hunger. He's not on the on the couch playing video games. He out there on that ground, but he just ain't got what it takes. He was he got the hustle. He ain't got the equipment. How big of a lawn hurt? How, how many houses can you do with a one lawn or a foot lawn boy to rate? You pretty you yeah, nigga be doing that shit though. I mean, you know, he got he a five, ten dollar nigga. Once you come with that equipment, you got wing, yeah, edge and shit up. Now you talking about a fifty hundred dollar nigga. That's all he needed, some shit. But he won't get a chance because y'all just said get that broke ass, one long more ass nigga away from me. I ain't gonna lie. Shit. Even Kevin Samuel said, if you ain't got it together, you shouldn't be dating. And I yeah, feel that, like that's, that's, that's for me fact. and that's one. A fact. That's a fact. But now we the only people who gonna go for that. The rest of the world don't hear that. They want to fuck. Now you can call it fucking dating, whatever <laughs> you want to do. That ain't gonna work. Yeah, that's not, I tell you one thing. I see a lot of chicks. Now, the independent woman is, can never be independent 100% because she wants that dick. Now, I've seen a lot of the independent women. No, for real. Now, these women, they going to get on here and post this nigga draws. They got shit stains in it. Uh, he ain't never the broke, dusty nigga. Look at him sleeping in the car. Bitch, you went fucking this nigga for the last four years. So now... Now, I ain't gonna lie. I can't stand bitches that talk about their niggas and dog their niggas out but still be wanting them. I don't yeah, understand because, that. Like, yeah, a bitch, I don't want to hear about well, you think, really don't like this nigga and all that shit, but you still with yeah. the nigga. Like, Everybody independent. Yeah, your independent say a nigga piss you off. You want to dog him out, put him on social media. You'll be sucking that old shit dick the next day. Well, you ain't care about his shit. He's drunk. You been new about him. And what happens is, you know, um, something about that rose can't carry you. You can be as independent as you want. But how these kids pop up, these fatherless kids, is that that independent bitch, that pussy get to thrive. Ah, man, fuck that rose. Now she didn't fuck no niggas. Because boom, once she do that, hold up. Yeah, when she fucked the broke nigga, now she got a baby. Now she got more to complain about. Ah, oh, these niggas ain't shit. Oh, raggedy, worthless nigga. No, bitch, you got horny. That pussy was thriving. You fucked that broke nigga. And you've been talking about it. I would not touch a broke nigga on social media all year. And this is how it happened. Yeah, yeah, that's how it's going to keep on going. It's all some bullshit. But, but I feel like, you know, the independent woman shit is some bullshit. Yeah, that's all fake shit. It's yeah. a bullshit because um, the independent woman was a never independent woman if she was getting assistance from the government. Yeah, that's what started so, the independent woman. The government, all that free ass. Uh, them but, it's, but it's a facade, though, bro. It's yeah. not really... It's not really independent, though. No, it's not independent. Because back still in the day when it first on started, somebody to help you. Yeah, like back in the day when the government was helping it, you know, they uh had that fake independent going good because you could get thousands in cash. Now, nah, boy, the only thing you're going to get is some free assistance. Whatever that child support nigga pay, they're going to snatch that up and say, you owe that. So I, that ain't even going to work no more. It was a good time all the way in. When they got y'all, the women first going for that, oh, they didn't go fast. Oh, fuck that nigga. Get him out of the house. That's how they started to break up this shit. It started long ago in the 70s, but, you know, uh, with that type of broke activity. But now it just went to, uh, you know, I don't know where it went, but what have we learned today, Detroit? Um, that my uh, special guest is putting all you broke niggas down, boy. If you don't come with some cash, she has shown us <laughs> today that how it is in America and in Detroit, she don't like broke niggas either. I don't know what to tell y'all. I made this video to try to help y'all out, but I see um y'all better get some of that. What's that drug they put on TV? <laughs> what? Who see? No, that preventative drug. What's the name of it? Oh, prep. Y'all better get some prep because y'all ass is out of here, boy. You ain't got a bankroll. <laughs> so now, <laughs> what 
We out of time. <laughs> I want to thank. I want to thank you for coming out. It's been a great What's time up? here today. Bianca, a bad, aka podcast press on YouTube. Tell them how to find you. Hey, y'all can go find me over there on my YouTube channel, Podcast Crush. Y'all can find me on Facebook at Bianca A. Bye. And I'm on Instagram at XX underscore underscore crush underscore underscore XX. Shit, that's a lot of underscore. Get on over to YouTube. Podcast Crush right now. They popping off real topics, real people, real conversation. The best motherfucking podcast in the nation. I see you over there. Thanks for coming out. You know what it is? We up out of this thing, man. Hold on. I got to leave about here more cooler. Hold on. Give me one second. Okay. Ah! <laughs> no, I'm out of here for real, man. All right. <laughs> Welcome.